This is an alarming discovery. The South Atlantic anomaly in the Southern Hemisphere shows from a study that the magnetic pole wobble has been growing for the past thousand years. Something odd is happening beneath the South Atlantic and is punching a hole in Earth's radiation shield. It's so bad, it's killing the satellites. This is by Jamie Sadel on Newscom Australia. It's killing the satellite. In other words, satellites have to close down whenever they pass by that area. There's a growing gap in the Earth's defenses. Now we've known for more than a century our planet's magnetic field has been weakening. It's what gives us our north and south poles, our magnetic field. This powers our compasses, as we know. It's also a vital shield that protects us from harmful radiation constantly bombarding us from the sun or deep space, what we call space weather. And this weakening is most evident in one place. It's a hole that reaches across the heart of the South of South America, over the South Atlantic, and into Africa. And uh, when we see the live uh, video casts from the ISS as they're passing over of, over the South Atlantic anomaly, they sometimes close down. And when we have the chats on the side chatting to each other what what's happening when they close down and they say that's uh, because it's going over the south atlantic uh, anomaly and it starts by see you see sparks there are sparks in the uh, the screen and you're saying what is that are they <laughs> and the first time i saw it i thought they were asteroids or something uh, hitting the earth but no they had to close down it was something having to do with the electromagnetic field now going back to this, it's allowing more high energy radiation to penetrate deeper through near orbit, the atmosphere, and to our surface. In recent decades, it's caused computers to crash on shuttles and the International Space Station. In 2016, Japan's revolutionary Hitomi X-ray observation satellite that was supposed to study black holes and supernovas was struck while passing through the gap and sent spinning out of control. A new study published in the science journal Geophysics, Geophysical Review Letters says uh, they've been digging back in time to find how long this anomaly has been active in the area and uh, what it may mean for our future. University of Rochester geophysicist Professor John Tarduno teamed up with archaeologists to study the burnt remains of grain silos left behind by some of the world's oldest farmers. This ancient people lived in the Limpopo River Valley. This borders Zimbabwe, South Africa, and Botswana. Baked into the clay is a snapshot of the magnetic field at that time. The clay, when heated, frees up magnetic minerals, these like tiny compass needles, then align with the Earth's magnetic field. As the clay cools, these are then frozen in place. And it's all due to the ancient cleansing ritual. Quote, the Bantu people who currently live there, they were the first people practicing agriculture, end quote, says Professor Tarduna. And he says, so at times of drought, you can imagine it was quite stressful on the population, and they practiced, according to the archaeologists, a type of ritualistic burning. They would actually burn down their villages and then start anew, unquote. The record they left us is proving really re uh, revealing. The shifts and swirls in the area's magnetic field have been taking shape for more than a thousand years. Quote, we think we see several episodes that are similar to what is happening today. That is, the magnetic field is operating abnormally as viewed out of Africa, said Professor Tarduno. There's a twist in this tale. At the heart of the matter, geologists believe, is a disturbance in the outer core of the Earth's interior, which is 2,900 kilometers below the surface. This superheated pool of molten metal is what generates the magnetic field. So if we look at our best numerical simulations, the magnetic field reversal, this is the type of pattern we see right before a reversal, said Professor Tarduna, 
we don't know if the current anomaly will lead to a full reversal. If the anomaly continues to grow, a larger patch of near orbit and our plan planet will become increasingly exposed to harmful rays and solar storms. Let me read that again. If the anomaly continues to grow, a larger patch of near orbit and our planet will become increasingly exposed to harmful rays and solar storms. The last time Earth's magnetic poles reversed was some 780,000 years ago. About 40,000 years ago, it underwent a dramatic wobble and did not quite topple. But it's a practice that takes thousands of years to unfold, which is incredibly fast in geological terms. Now, we've known for quite some time that the magnetic field has been changing, but we didn't really know is if this was unusual for the region on a longer time scale or whether it was normal. The burnt clay huts reveal similar dips in the magnetic field happened around 400 to 450 BC, 700 to 750 BC, and 1225 to 1550 BC. So that's just about every 300 to 500 years. That's a very short time frame. This means the current weakening has been developing for some time. Quote, we're getting stronger evidence that there's something unusual about the core mantle boundary under Africa that could be having an important impact on the global magnetic field, said Professor Tarduno. Quote, we now know this unusual behavior has occurred at least a couple of times before in the past 160 years, and it's part of a bigger long-term problem, end quote, says Dr. Hare. Quote, however, it's simply too early to say for certain whether this behavior will lead to a full pole reversal, end quote. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on 
your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.